Multiplying fractions. Advanced. Here's an easy one to get our brains wrapped around the steps for multiplying fractions. So, what we do when we multiply fractions is we multiply the numerators. So we got 8 times 3 is 24. And then we multiply denominators. So 9 times 4 is 36. That's a perfect answer. But it would look a lot better if we reduced it to simplest form. So I'm going to divide the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor, by the largest number that goes into 24 and into 36, which just so happens to be 12. 12 goes into 24 two whole times. 12 goes into 36 three whole times. All right, here's another easy one, but it's only easy if you remember that of, when we're talking about fractions, means times. We got two thirds times three fourths. The steps to multiplying fractions multiply the numerators. So two times three is six, and the denominators, three times four, is 12. 6 out of 12, when reduced by the GCF, is going to be 1 half. 2 thirds of 3 fourths is a half. Evaluate 1 half times 2 and 3 quarters. So this one's a little bit harder. We got to take half of this, but the easiest way to do this is to turn this mixed number into an improper fraction. And we do that by saying 2 times 4 plus 3. So let's rewrite it. We got 1 half times 2 times 4 is 8 plus 3 is 11 fourths. Now we just multiply this fraction like normal. 1 times 11 is 11, 2 times 4 is 8. This is a perfect answer, but it'd be a lot nicer if we change this improper fraction to a mixed number. And we do that by dividing. How many 8's go into 11? There are one whole 8 in 11 with 3 left over and the denominator stays the same. So, one half times two and three fourths, the answer is one and three eighths. Here's a tougher one. To make it easy, change the mixed numbers to improper fractions. So one times five is five plus four is nine fifths times, multiply, then add, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11 thirds. Now we finish by multiplying the numerator, so 9 times 11 is 99, out of 15. I see that they both can be divided by 3. 99 divided by 3 is 33. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Or I can write it as a mixed number. There are 6 whole 5's in 33 with 3 left over and 5 is the denominator. So these, either one of these is the right answer.